guys, I want to talk a little bit about how to start a lawn care company. Really what you need to start a lawn care company. And the answer is absolutely nothing. You need nothing. You need a push mower, if that, maybe a weed eater, maybe a blower, maybe a broom. I don't know. It's so commonly perceived that you have to have these $5,000, $10,000 mowers and these $400 weed eaters and backpack blowers and all this stuff. You don't need all that stuff. You need what you need mainly is the jobs. I mean, before even equipment, if you don't have a job, what do you need equipment for? You don't. You need the jobs. Once you get the jobs, then you need equipment. But you don't need equipment until you get a job. So that needs to be your number one priority is getting jobs. Back to the point, what do you need to start a lawn care company? Nothing. You need ambition. You need drive. You need to have goals. You need to want, you know, a lot of people start it when they, they're they at a job. They're working a, a job that they don't like or they don't like their boss or, you know, something along those lines. Or they get fired. Maybe they get let go. So they start a lawn care company. So you need that drive. You need something to push you to be not like that person you didn't want to work for. You need to need to like what you do you need to be able to get out there and say man I'm, I'm a lucky guy I get to come out here today and I get to cut grass I get to or I get to you know do a landscape and plant some plants put in some mulch put in some rock maybe a boulder maybe a little tree whatever you need to love what you do and if you don't you're wasting your time but if, if you love what you do and you have goals and you're ambitious and you're driven you can do it I'm telling you right now you can do it because I did I was I started out with my mother's push mower my mother's weed eater which was a curved shaft Troy built it was like probably $99 when she bought it or something $89 and an electric handheld blower I would literally have to ask my customers where's an outlet so I can blow off your driveway and now granted I didn't have too many customers at that point I was probably servicing maybe five accounts. I was in high school doing a few. And, but people see that. People see that you're out there and you're hustling and you're sweating and you're you know, going through the paces doing what you have to do to get the job done. People notice that and that's what's going to build your business. You know, If you start out and you pull up to somebody's house and you say, I just started, okay? They want to bid and you have what I had was an S10. It was a vehicle that I already had. It was a paid a thousand dollars for it. It was an S10, whatever. An older S10. And that's what I had at the time, so that's what I used. But anyway, I pull up, I got a push mower, and they can't even see the weed or anything. All they see is, you know, the handle of the push mower hanging out the back, and they hired me. You could pull up with same age, same truck, but if I got a trailer with a brand new mower on it, and I say I'm just starting, they're going to start wondering, okay, where'd this guy get that mower? Or, you know, what, what's going on here? It doesn't really add up. If you're young and you're starting any age, but especially if you're young and you're starting a business and you pull up with a push mower, that is not necessarily a bad thing. That honestly is kind of a good thing. They see that you're starting from the bottom. And that's, you know, get someone that's out there starting from the bottom, taking a push mower out of the trunk of their car or whatever, in my case, out of the bed of my little junky truck and push them on the yard with a smile on my face. And when I get done being very personable, making sure to tell them thank you if they need anything else to let me know, to let their friends know, they see that and they're like, wow, this guy is ambitious. This guy is, you know, he wants it. He's happy where he's at even though he's got nothing. I had nothing and I was happy. I was extremely happy. And that's what led me to where I am today. It's been a long road. I've made a lot of mistakes, but you don't need anything to start. I had nothing, and now I have two Bobcats, two trucks, three trailers, six mowers. I got all kinds of stuff. But I started with nothing. I started with a push mower, a curved shaft, cheap Troy built weed eater, and an electric blower. That's all I had. Rakes and shovels. That's it. And like I said, here I am. Bobcats, everything else, snow plows, all that stuff. A couple years down the line because I 
love this. I love the outdoors. I've been pushing lawns since I was a kid. Go around mowing lawns for five bucks, you know, or whatever, ten bucks. And to me, that was great. I could go buy, you know, whatever. Go buy, that time I was a skateboarder. So maybe I'd go buy new skateboard wheels or something. And that was worth it to me because I, I was rewarded with something that I enjoyed. And it just grew on me. And now it is what I enjoy. I love to mow the grass. I love the art of it. There is an art to it. People that say, you know, oh, it's just mowing grass. It's not just mowing grass. If you love what you do, it's not just mowing grass. There, it is an art. Every day when you get up and you go to this lawn, you have to think about what you're going to do prior. Make sure you got it all laid out and say, hey, maybe I'm going to go a different way this week. Maybe I'm going to change my art this week. Maybe I'm going to try to catch someone's attention that's driving from the east instead of the west or the north instead of the south. You know, you're going to you're gonna try to change things. You're always going to be perfecting your art and you're going to take care of your art. But if you love what you do, it's it doesn't matter. You know, and I call it art. Some people call it mowing grass. But it, what is it to you? That's what it is to me, you know. I don't, I don't know how a lot of other people view it, but anyway, back to the main point. What do you need to start a lawn slash landscape, you know, lawn care, lawn service, whatever you want to call it? You need nothing. You need drive. You need ambition. You need goals. You need patience. A lot of patience. I forgot that one. And that may be the most important one. You need patience. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time going to take effort and you're going to be going one day and you're going to feel like you're just spinning your tires and you are not moving but you are you are moving because you're going to gain that experience of getting past that bump in the road or dealing with that customer that you do not want to deal with because it's going to build your business and because you don't want to hurt your business reputation you're going to have to deal with that kind of stuff and like I said, you're going to feel like you're spinning your tires and you're moving nowhere, but you are. You're, you're moving because you're gaining that experience to get over those things that are going to happen. It'd be great if you could start any company and go along for, you know, three weeks and nothing happened. That'd be amazing, but it's not going to happen. It's business. If it were easy, everyone would do it. That's why everyone doesn't do it because it is not easy. It takes things that not everyone has. You have to be a certain kind of person to be a successful business owner. But if you are that person, and if you're watching this video, you probably are, you can do it. You, you can do it. You have to believe in yourself, and you can't overanalyze things. That is the number one thing that a lot of people do when trying to start a business that you're screwed from the get-go if you do that. Don't do it. Do not overanalyze. You have to... Go get it, you know. Don't wait for it. To, it's not going to come to you. You got to go get it. So if you want to do it, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. Don't say, oh, I need to get this or I need to line up this. No, you don't. Do it today. Print off five flyers right now and go hand them out to your neighbors. The neighbors right next to you. Those are the ones that know you. Those, If you're a good person, they know you're a good person. And they're, they might hire you for something you don't know. Or they might tell their friends, their, their parents their kids, whatever, I don't know where you live, but it, it all depends, you know, who your neighbors are, but that's a great place to start, and if you start today, five flyers, you're like, oh, that's not much, that's not going to get me any jobs, it's a start, do not wait, you, you need to start right now, tomorrow, next week, next month, you're going to be behind, you're going to be one day, one week, one month behind, you don't want to be that person, do it today, do it right now. Start your business today. Don't wait. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat at Nickens Lawn and Landscape.